most parents believe that hiccups in babies are just nuisance basically, mm. right? That could be, however, scientists found that hiccups in babies seem to be necessary for baby's brain development. Yes. So in this video, we are going to discuss why babies develop hiccups and under which circumstances they could be a warning sign. Then we are also going to explain how hiccups seem to help baby's brain development. Yes. And finally, we're also going to explain how to stop your baby's hiccups if that is what you still want to do after watching this video. This is Natalie, a pregnancy and birth consultant and TCM therapist. And that's Matthias, a researcher and science geek. And what we do on this channel is helping expecting mummies and their babies naturally and science-based. So let's talk about your baby's hiccups. <laughs> All right, so let us first start by saying that hiccups in babies are a completely natural phenomenon mm -hmm. that should not be a reason for you to be worried. Yeah. There is one exception, and that is when your baby's hiccups come together with other symptoms, which can sometimes point toward a certain problem, right? But more about this later. Mm -hmm. However, normally, hiccups in babies are just what they are. They may be annoying, <laughs> but they are not the reason to be worried. Yes. Scientists do not yet know the exact reason why hiccups occur. However, there are various triggers which are thought to cause hiccups, such as eating too quickly, excess air in the stomach or overfeeding, right? But whatever really triggers hiccups, eventually they are just spasms of the diaphragm, basically. The diaphragm is just that large muscle at the bottom of the rib cage, And it's an important one because we need it to breathe in and out. Mm -hmm. It contracts and moves downwards when we breathe in and it moves upwards when we breathe out. And we can control that. Exactly. But during a hiccup, the air kind of gets stuck against the closed vocal cords, right? And that causes that hick sound <laughs> of a hiccup. Yeah. But here's the good news. Studies have not found that hiccups themselves significantly change the baby's breathing or heart rate. Mm. So they do not cause your baby to run out of air, which is what many parents are concerned about. Right? Yes. However, earlier we said that hiccups could point toward a certain problem when they come with other symptoms. To be precise, one study found that in rare cases, hiccups can also be caused by acid reflux. And that's because when your baby or even a grown-up suffers from reflux, partly digested food and stomach acid flows back up into the throat or actually the esophagus to be precise. The esophagus, on the other hand, runs through the diaphragm. As a result, it can irritate the diaphragm and lead to hiccups. Yes, but to make it clear, hiccups themselves are not a sign of acid reflux, mm. right? But they can be if they're also accompanied by other symptoms, most importantly, frequent spit up or even vomiting. In addition, you can normally expect your baby to be very irritable mm. and to cry a lot. Yeah. So if you observe any of those signs, please talk with your doctor about mm. it. But other than that, your baby's hiccups are normally not a sign that anything is wrong, right? In fact, actually, it seems to be the other way around. Recently, scientists found that hiccups in babies may be necessary for their brain development. Yes. In one study, scientists monitored the brain activity of newborns. And when some of them got hiccups, they found that those hiccups trigger a large wave of brain signals. So what does this mean? Well, so as long as your baby is very little, baby cannot actively control their breathing, right? Because mm -hmm. in order to do that, they would have to know how to use their diaphragm. But what those scientists found was that when a baby's got hiccups, it triggers three electrical impulses in the brain. And one of those impulses seemed to help the baby's brain link the hick of the hiccups with the feeling of the contraction of the diaphragm muscle. Huh? And now in plain English? <laughs> well, so in, in plain English this means that those brain waves teach the baby's brain to observe the diaphragm <laughs> so that eventually baby can control that muscle by moving it up and down. What's still not clear? No, come on, try again. All right, so in even plainer English this means hiccups help the baby learn how to breathe. See, got it. You just have to keep it simple. <laughs> yes, ma'am. Okay, so hiccups seem to be a good thing according to uh, those scientists, mm. right? And therefore, you don't really have to do anything to make them go away. Yes, they will go away all by themselves. However, of course, they can also be very annoying if they last too long, right? Yeah. So what can you do to make them go away? Simple words, please. 
Ja, well, uh, in simple words, well, first of all, I know that many fathers out there are probably tempted to scare that little baby because they have heard somewhere that scaring someone makes their hiccups go away, right? Yes. By the way, that was his first idea too, when our son got hiccups. Yeah, but new... I did not do it eventually, okay? <laughs> so please don't do that either. However, one thing that was a big help back then was a dummy. In fact, a dummy almost always helped him get rid of hiccups, right? Yes. And what also helped him was burping him and or rubbing his back. Yeah. In fact, both can be combined. And when you do, it can be super helpful to make your baby stop hiccuping. Exactly. In fact, about a year ago, we published a video on the three most effective ways to burp a baby. Mm. And it has helped thousands of parents out there to burp their baby, but also to stop their hiccups. Right. So if you like, watch it right now. <laughs> if it does not pop up, you can also find it in the description below this video. Right. If you have found this video helpful, we would be super grateful if you could leave us a like below this video. Yes, and for more useful tips and tools on pregnancy and baby related topics, make sure to subscribe to our channel and to hit the bell.